guys, I don't know what I've just done, but the Abarth has been sold. Hope that's recording. Yes, it is. What is going on, guys? As always, you know the drill. Hope everyone has been well, and welcome to MGA Drive. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Mark, and welcome. And yes, guys, it is a beautiful, beautiful afternoon here in beautiful Queensland in Hope Island. And I thought today it was time to make a video. I think it's been over, what, four weeks since Mark last made his video. And I've got to say, guys, I know it sounds like an excuse, but I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to make a video. And I just didn't want to make a video to, you know, get the algorithm up. And there's nothing worse when you're trying to do something and you're in front of the camera. And I don't know, the words just don't want to come out. So um, anyway, it's a video that I guess is long overdue. And it is a video that I thought I wouldn't be making so soon in ownership of the 595, the little competizione that we all know on my channel. And guys, I'm just gonna get in into it and just basically come straight out with it. And I'm sure a lot of you would have, you know, told by the, uh, the thumbnail, the title of the video, the 595, the little mosquito as we all know it, unfortunately has been sold. And um, yeah, like I said, it's just, uh, I'm still coming to terms with it, of not owning the little beast. Um, it has been a little bit over two weeks now, guys. Uh, the car has been sold, it, it is gone. I do not longer own the car anymore. And um, I'd have to say it was a hard decision for me to get my head around. Um, you know, do I keep the car, do I sell it? And uh, unfortunately, yes, I made up my mind to sell the car and the car has been sold. Uh, but before we do get into the video, I just want to say a massive shout out to Peter, the new owner of my Abarth. Uh, Peter, if you are watching uh, the video, I know you do watch my videos, mate, I hope the Abarth is going really, really well for you. Mate, you're going to love it, you're going to enjoy it, and guys, i got to say, Peter is an absolute legend. Uh, he's definitely a car enthusiast, he loves his automobiles, and he loves his Italian cars as well too. So I couldn't be happier. Uh, knowing that the car is going to be well well looked after so enjoy Peter All right guys, so we'll get into the video and a lot of you are probably wondering you know what led me down to this path um, Of selling the Abarth. Why did you sell it so soon? You, you know the car was still new 16,000 kilometers on the clock I think it would have been what four to five months of ownership and I will say straight off the bat, um, the car was absolutely awesome. I loved the little thing. Um, it was, you know, one of the best little hot hatches I ever owned. So, um, you know, there was nothing wrong with the car. Don't take it personal, guys. I absolutely love the Fiat Abarth brand. You know, I always say that, you know, I always stand very, very tall to it. Um, and just a great fun car to drive. The biggest thing and the hardest thing for me uh, with owning the Abarth and struggling with it every day would have to be the internals uh, The setup of the cockpit obviously the car was a two-door car and From taking the kids to school and back every day, you know look the Abarth as we all know it um, Isn't the biggest car out there, and I know it's a it's a bad thing to say It might sound a little bit funny at the same time, you know the Abarth the Fiat the Topolino um, they've always been very renowned for being small cars and look I completely understand that and you know again I guess it was something when I was looking for my new daily and I think that was the best thing that I absolutely loved about the Abarth that it was very small and different um, So I guess you know we're driving it every day to work and back um, You know, it's nearly 73 kilometers each way. It's a little bit of over an hour of you know freeway kilometers and I've got to say look don't get me wrong, the Abarth did really, really well on the freeway. No issues there whatsoever. Um, I think the biggest thing for me, like I said, it had to do with the internals, the cockpit I was really struggling with, you know, getting the kids to school and back, you know, the Sabelle seats every day sort of going forward, going back, and I could sort of see the kids getting really annoyed with it. Um, it was quite hard. Uh, you know, there's school bags. Um, you know, it isn't the biggest car, and I was starting to worry that the internals were going to get scratched. Um, so, you know, we're putting the, the bags in the boot, you couldn't sort of do the kiss and drop and drop them off to sort of get them, brush them off to school. So it, it was starting to sort of play on my mind and, um, you know, look, I thought about it and, you know, look, I probably could have lived with it, but I guess, you know, in, at the end of the day, guys, it would have always come down to that uh, thought in my mind, you know, about selling the car. 
Um, I guess the biggest thing for me that I'll probably miss besides the car um, is the Abarth family out there. Uh, a lot of you that have commented on my videos and just the whole community, the whole Fiat Abarth community, everyone has been great. And there's that real connection, you know, if, you, if you're wanting to solve an issue with your car or whatever it may be, everyone's sort of, you know, quick to jump on the bandwagon and help you out. So I've got to say, that's one bit I'm going to miss to all your bath owners out there. Please, you know, don't get upset. Don't take it personal. Um, enjoy your baths. Keep driving them. And, um, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, the car has gone to a great, great owner. So, you know, look, I am going to miss it. I am going to miss the, you know, the exhaust, the record Monza exhaust on it. Um, it just makes for a real great fun car. So for me, it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be very strange not to be jumping in the Abarth. Um, you know, this car that I'm currently um, driving, uh, you know, I still get in the car and go to put down the windows here with, where the dashboard is. So, you know, I'm still, uh, coming to terms with not owning the Abarth anymore, it is very strange and very sad at the same time. So yes, you can probably tell that I am in another car. I have bought myself um, a cheaper car, a run around for now to get me to work and back until I make my decision on my next hot hatch. Um, so I've got you know a lot of thinking to do, and I want to really get it right because you know I've gone through some uh, some cars in the last year and a half, the last two years. And it does get to be quite quite expensive exercise so hopefully with your help um, you know I can sort of nut this out and get the right car so the last thing I want to do is just rush out and buy a new car um, and I want to be really happy with it so you know drop us a comment all comments are welcome on the channel on er and any recommendations on what you think guys I'm going to wrap it up I'm going to end the video here I hope you've enjoyed that video I know it wasn't the most happiest video to make and uh, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I much appreciate all the comments and all the new subscribers that have come to the channel. Uh, have a great one. See you guys. Bye-bye.